All right, guys. Thank you so much for being on time. Welcome back. Uh, congratulations for being on time. And thank you. All right. So now we are going to develop another topics. And we are going to check the topics uh, that we checked last night, right? So no worries. Uh, tonight we are going to double check those uh, topics that, you know, yeah, seems like uh, are pretty easy, right? Those topics are like uh, now uh, shoe, cool, can, can are pretty easy. But my question now for you is if you if you know or if you notice that can't and cool, it's formal and informal. Ustedes sabían ya, lo sabían, ¿verdad que no lo sabían? O si lo sabían, pues qué, qué bueno, ¿verdad? Pero acuérdense que cuando alguien le esté hablando así, con el can, all right, así como un command, all right, como un command, usted ya sabe de que esta persona está siendo grosera con usted, ¿verdad? Tiene que usted asimilarlo, o sea, como le dije yo anoche, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo, este, Amalia, no se toque el pelo, por favor. O así, mamá, no te toques el pelo. ¿Verdad que se oye bien feo? Pero si le dice, una, eso es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Si le dice, por decir su, no sé, eh, un amigo, no sé, o su esposo le dice, Could you please stop, I mean, your, uh, su, su estilista. Le dice, Amalia, could you please stop touching your hair because you, uh, you're going to uh, ruin it. Usted lo va a arruinar, ¿Verdad? Ni que fuera, ni que fuera radio, lo va a maltratar, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, please don't, don't touch it like that because I just make uh, something on your hair. But could you please remember, cool is formal and can is informal. All right, so. Ah, pero, okay. ¿qué pasa, qué pasa cuando, voy, cuando voy a un restaurante y yo pido, can I have? No. Es, es, no, como le digo, no, lo, no es que no lo pueda utilizar, sí lo puede utilizar, solamente que es informal, es todo. El formal es cool, all right? Entonces, en ese, en ese sentido, si usted dice, can I have, es mejor decir, may I have, ahí ocupa más suavecito, may I have the combo number one, all right? Entonces, usted ya lo está utilizando con, uh, con mejor, este... Eficiencia y, y como le digo, con mejor versatilidad en el sentido de que usted está siendo más que educado, ¿verdad? Ese es la, la, el punto que le quiero entender. Now, first to the first, we are going to check the, our motivation part. Let me know if you, are, if you are able to see what I'm checking at this moment, all right? So give me one second. Let's see. Just a moment. Just a moment. All right. So now let's repeat everybody motivation. Come on, let's go. Motivation. 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 Very, good. Very good. Probably you're going to remember me every time that I'm saying motivation, you will say, oh, Mr. Escamilla all the time was uh, telling us motivation, 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 motivation. Of course, we need to be motivated because we need, you know, uh, to have something in, in our minds, you know, right? If you want to complete our goals, remember, you need to be motivated. All right. So, for example, when I'm working, Every morning that I wake up, right, that I woke up, I go like this. Uh, lovely father, please help me with my sales. All right, because I'm a salesperson. Soy, una, soy un vendedor de seguros. All right. And mi motivación es el qué? Posiblemente terminar bien el año. Posiblemente, este, en el sentido con la salud. Lo primordial, ¿verdad? Terminar este, con alguna carrera, algún curso que haya, que haya, que haya optado por, por cursar, valga la redundancia. Entonces, su motivación tiene que ser algo. Sus hijos puede ser su motivación, su, su familia en sí, sus, un nuevo trabajo, qué sé yo. Lo mejor que usted tenga en su mente una motivación. We need to be motivated, all right? So now, let me read this part right now for you guys. And this part says like this. I mean, this uh, quote, this lovely quote says, learning is never done without errors and defeat by Vladimir Lenin. All right. Give me one second. Somebody's uh, escribiendo me right now. Jenny Marisol. Buenas noches, teacher. Tengo problemas con internet. Uh, Sálgase o reinicie su, no sé si es el router o la maquinita que le da su compañía 
que le está dando su internet, ya sea eh, la que usted sabe, ¿verdad? Entonces, all right. So, learning is never done without uh -huh. errors and defeat, all right? So, so what does that mean, teacher? All right. Learning, learning. Okay. ¿Qué dice? Learning. Without, learning. without errors. ¿Qué más dice? Without errors. No, learning is never done. I'm sorry. Learning is never done. Learning is never, never done, done. done. Right. without errors. Without errors in defeat. defeat. All right, give me one second. Errors, sorry. Defeat. All right, so, and what else? And defeat. And defeat. And defeat. And defeat. And defeat. All right, so what that means, everything, all right? So if we don't know, if we're not, if you're not quite sure what it that means, remember, we can use all the time using the tool, uh, which is the translator tool is not a crime. And this no es ningún crimen usar su traductor todo el tiempo hasta que usted quiera, hasta donde usted llegue, puede utilizar su traductor todo el en su trabajo, utilícelo. Okay. Dice, el aprendizaje nunca se hace sin, nunca se hace sin errores y derrotas. All right. So, what does that means? What does that means, guys? So, what that means? El, what does that means? ¿Qué quiere decir esto? All right. So, el aprendizaje nunca se hace sin errores y derrotas. All right. So, entonces, me imagino de que, por ejemplo, if I, if I ask to Jose, a uh, Jose, a usted le regalaron su casita donde vive, no más... Mm -hmm no más cumplió los 18 años y, y que sacó su bachillerato se la regalaron así o sea si la regalaron qué bueno pero es, o, no, o, verdad que no verdad no. you you had to work hard right had to work yeah. hard you have to learn a lot of things you make errors and you defeat sometimes usted tuvo derrotas a, a veces pero you never give up right you never give up nunca se rindió So that's the reason yeah. that you have the place where you live. All right. Yeah. So, entonces, mi mensaje de esta noche para toda, este, la afición le iba a decir, no, para toda, para todas las personas, todos los estudiantes, este, mi mensaje es de que van a haber errores, van a haber derrotas. Tal vez usted no entienda este, este curso, este mes. Tal vez no entienda el segundo, el tercero. Pero si usted se detiene, ahí estamos mal. Entonces, Va a haber derrotas, le, va, le van a decir no en, una, en un lugar que tal vez usted está buscando trabajo y le van a decir no. You need to improve your English, all right? You need to improve your English, all right? So, oh, what, they, what they sometimes tell you when you when you go to those places, right, and have an interview, they tell you, hey, look, uh, I believe you have to improve your English. I suggest you to go to your house and practice more. Come back in three months, ¿verdad? Tal vez eso suceda un, una, un día. All right. And remember, another thing that I would like to share with you guys is that the age is not an excuse. Yeah. All right. Our age is not an excuse. Because usted me puede decir, oh my goodness, I'm, a, I'm, I'm all already. Ya, ya, ya estoy, ya tengo mis, mis, mis añitos. No. The age is not an excuse. All right. So the, the things that you have to do tonight and I mean, from today and on, it's practice and practice and practice. All right. So very good. So let's repeat. Learning is never done. 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 A little, 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 a Without, without errors, errors and defeat. defeat. All right, let's see. Learning is never done without errors and defeat. All right, one more time. Learning is never Learning done is without errors and defeat. Excellent. All right, so remember, we have to learn, but we are going to have errors. Sometimes we're going to, you know, we're not going to make it. We're going to be, you know, struggling with the money or anything, struggling with the things that we need in order to survive, but never give up, okay? So, all right, so let's rock and roll. Let's see, um, let's uh, double check our topic. 
tonight's topic it's the next one right so and let me read the the adjective i'm sorry and this session says right in this session participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can't and shouldn't to sound natural when speaking all right so let's see I mean, one second, how many uh, students I have in class? 27, very good, very good. All right, so let's see, Joao, please read that for me, please, for everybody, this. Oops. In, in this session, participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can and short, the sound natural when speaking. Okay, let's repeat, everybody repeat, uh, shouldn't. 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 Can't. 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 Okay, in this session, participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can't and shouldn't to sound natural when you when speaking. Excellent, excellent. All right, so now uh, let's see who else. Uh, let's see the ones that have the camera on. Remember, guys, in the meantime, we need to have the cameras on. And also remember, if you are having any problems by getting... I mean, by logging in, I mean, to, to our platform, if you are having problems to log in, please try to send me a message and try to get in touch with your coordinator, all right? So in case you are working and you are going to be, I mean, you're going to be as a listener, try to get in touch with your coordinator because they need to be aware about it, okay? And of course, send me a message as well. All right, to my WhatsApp, all right, to uh, let me know, right? So in case me pregunte este, el coordinador, este, mire, este, y Juana le mandó, le hizo saber, Juana Inés le hizo saber que no iba a estar en clase porque iba a ir a, iba, iba, a, iba a estar trabajando de turno. No le voy a decir porque ni, ni, ni sé cómo se llamaba. Ah, de ver, entonces le, eso le va, le va a afectar. Another thing, guys, I, I want you to, uh, I just want to make sure that you guys are completing your activities, your exercises, all right? Remember, you need to complete them in order to hit 80%, all right? That's it. All right, let's see who else uh, is texting me. Let's see, Jessica Mendez, buenas noches, teacher. Not a problem. God's will, I mean, God's will, you will be okay, okay? All right, no worries. All right, so try to get in touch with your coordinator, all right? So this is the message. I mean, this is the objective that we are going to use. Remember, guys, once again, I like to express, I like to tell you that you need to use everything that we are practicing so far, all right? Why? Because you will sound better, all right? So... If I ask, let's see, uh, Mirna, if I ask you, if I make a question, in other words, if I make a question, if I said, uh, Mirna, which topics do you remember since we start our classes? Which topics? Refresh my mind because I don't remember the topics. Tell me which topics are coming to your mind or which ones are the ones that you remember? Five, four. Eh, aprender a usar los conectores. Excellent. Try to learn to use the connectors or conjunctions. Say it. Try to use the connectors and conjunctions. Go ahead. Say it. Say it, Miriam. Repeat after me. Try. Uh, I learned to. I mean, I I learned to use the connectors and conjunctions. I learned to use Connect. the connectors. I to use the connectors and your the connectors and conjunctions. All right. What else? The connector and conjunctions. What else? Which uh which topics are the ones that comes to your mind or the ones that you remember about it? What is on que se recuerdan? But mm, ah no, I'm talking somewhere. about topics. Connectors. Topics. Adverbs. 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 Adverbs.
adverbs and adjectives, okay. All right, what else? Regular and regular verbs. Excellent, very good, very good, all right. So, and now we have cool and can, right? And today we have can't and shouldn't. And we already know that should, all right? So, if I am telling you, you should guys, you should practice every day, every day. Why? Because you will learn to speak English faster. Si usted se fija, ya usé dos modal verbs, right? ¿Cuáles son los que acabo de usar? Los que usted escuchó. Will. And show. Show and will, right? Sure. You, sh you should learn to speak English faster because you will learn to speak English, you know, like this, quickly, all right? Master, I mean, practice make the master, remember. Remember about that, okay? So now, let me just share some information here with you from our platform. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking. Give me one second. Let's see. One second, please. Okay. All right. One second. All right. Are you able to see what I'm checking right now, guys? Yes? Yes. 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 All right. We already, yes. we already checked it. Okay. Very good. The grammar focus, right? So we already know what, what it, that means. With the grammar focus, we need to focus at the same time on the information that we are going to, the information that we are going to be using, right? For example, in this case, we're going to be using the model verbs, right? So this is the previous topic that we checked last class. Remember, guys, if I am talking too fast, levánteme la manita y no tenga pena. Dígame, Mr. Usted está como que lo llevan en quinta. Bájale volumen y yo le bajo, ¿verdad? Le bajo volumen. Si usted no me está entendiendo, porque quiero que me entienda every time that I'm talking, I want you to, you guys, understand what I'm saying. All right? So that's the reason that I'm speaking, you know, slow. All right? So very slow, slowly. All right? So... The modal verbs that we have here are can, can't, should, should, I mean, should and shouldn't. All right, so let's see. Um, for the records, I want you to you guys complete all the exercises that we have on this platform. Remember that you need to create a portfolio with the exercises that I'm telling you to complete. Acuérdense que le dije la vez pasada que me tenía que completar un... un Portafolio, ¿verdad? Sí sabemos que es un portafolio, ¿verdad? Es como un, sí. un, un, un archivo, ¿ok? So, usted se arma un archivo en un, en un Word, en un, eh, ya, yeah, en un archivo en Word, empieza a hacer los ejercicios, acuérdese que esto no es mandatorio, pero le va a ayudar en gran manera, ¿all right? So, y entonces usted al final del curso me lo manda a mi WhatsApp, ¿verdad? O lo manda ahí al, al, al grupo de WhatsApp, así que, y me pone done, ¿Verdad? Y entonces yo lo voy a revisar y voy a ver que usted ha, ha practicado bastante, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, estos ejercicios de esta conversación me los pueden, me los pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos mm -hmm. a hacer un uh, role play faster, ¿ok? Uh, Sonia Pinti, ¿all right? You, you will be Elena and Salvador will be Thomas, ¿ok? So, let's rock and roll, ¿all right? So, a contar, a la, a contar, a, let me count five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Come on. Can you tell me a little about Mexican City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, that's a good time to visit. I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what about see here? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of the Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all soon really exciting. 
Excellent. Very good. Diego and uh, Miriam Darlene, please be my guest. Go ahead. Come on. Let's go. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's, what's good time to visit? I think you can go anything, anytime. The water is always nice. Oh, good. And what what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the place of fine art. And what else? Oh, you should, should miss the pattern of the Zoom. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see. Joao and Amalia, please be my guest. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Okay. Can... Can you... Go ahead. You start, uh, Joao. You, the, you, you, Thomas, and Amalia, Elena. Okay. okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. I can. What would you like I, is now? Well, What's a good time to visit? I think you can go anything. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum. I'd go to the palace and find art. And what else? What? And what else? Oh, oh, you shouldn't. I meet the pyramid of the song. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, uh, Maria and uh, Gabriel. Go ahead. Come on. Let's go. Be my guest. Sure. Give me one second. Let me see. You're welcome. Let me double check. Where is the the thing? Just a moment. So that better. Yes. Excellent. Okay, Maria and Gabriel. Okay, be my guest. Come on, let's go, Maria del Carmen. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what show I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, you you shouldn't miss the pyramid or the song. It's very interesting. Oh, it all sounds really exciting. Excellent, very good, very good. Uh, Jose Arminio and Juan Inez, go ahead, be my guest. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Hey, uh, maybe you can change somebody. Uh, let me see. I can take the, the the information. Okay, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Can you tell me a little show Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The world is always nice. Oh, good. And what show I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, you should miss the pyramid 
of the Zoom is very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Thank you very much, Abimael and Elizabeth. Please be my guest. Go ahead. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? To know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always always nice. Oh, good. And what show I see there? Well, you should definitely definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Song. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Exciting. Thank you. Exciting. Exciting. Thank you. Okay, Thomas and Miriam Maricela, please be my guests. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, that's a good sign to visit. I think you can go and I think the water is a white night. Oh, good. And um, what should I see you here. Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to Fantasy of Fine Art. And um, what else? Oh, and you should miss the Barami of the Sun is very interesting. It also really exciting. All right, thank you very much, uh, Iris. And who else is here? Give me one second, Iris. And let's see, Francisco Armando, please be my guest. Francisco Armando, can you there? Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It's also really exciting. It's really exciting. It's all, uh, it all sounds really exciting. Very good, very good. No problem. OK, let's see. Isaac and uh, Jenny Marisol, please be my guest. Isaac, are you there? All right, so uh, Jenny Marisol and let's see. Uh, let's see, Jenny Marisol and Salvador Antonio, please go ahead. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, that's a good time to visit. I think you can do a time. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what shall I see there? Well, you shall definitely visit the National Museum in the God Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you should miss the paramount of the so it's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Can you, can you see that? All right, very good, very good. All right, so let's see who else is here. Orchidia and Patricia Alfaro, be my guest, please. Go ahead. Take 
Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? All right, so Patricia, okay, Rosal Pleites, ayúdamele, por favor. Okay. Um, um, sure, I can. What were you like to now? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anything. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum. Mousy. No. Ma Museum. Museum. Okay. Museum. Uh, museum. Uh -huh. And go to the Palace of Fine Artists. And what else? Oh, you, you should miss the Pharmacy, pharmacy of the Zoom, it's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Very good, very good. Okay, so let's repeat. Should. Should. Shouldn't. 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 All right, guys. Uh, ¿Quién no me ha participado? Levántame la manita virtual. Para participar. Okay, Susanita and who else? Let's see. Uh, let's see who else is not participating yet. Let's see. All right, Susie and King Mas. And Jose Heriberto. Okay, be my guest. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what a good time to visit. I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what uh, should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really in exciting. All right, very good, very good. Who else? Who else wants to participate, all right? So, all right, if there's nobody else, uh, I will go ahead and double check another thing over here. So remember, guys, that we be in checking should and shouldn't, can and can't, could and couldn't, and we've been checking will and won't. Uh, what else? Those are the 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 model verbs that you know that we've been checking so far through this uh, conversation that we've been checking. Okay, so just pay attention when somebody is repeating the same information. So that's why we are doing this kind of role plays, right? So estamos haciendo así como unas unos role plays para que usted vaya si Susi me lo lo pronunció Eh, del, del 1 al 10 lo pronunció en 8 vino Mirna y lo pronunció 9 vino José y lo pronunció 10 entonces el 11 que es usted por decir mi persona, René verdad René entonces vengo, vengo viene mi persona y lo empiezo a, a pronunciar de la mejor Pero, manera yo estoy a la ¿verdad? mitad de la clase ¿cómo es que acabas de llegar? ¿qué mala onda? ¿perdón? ¿quién me habló? perdón no, no, perdón, a mí se me activó el, el micrófono, lo siento. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, do you have any questions, Iris? Iris? Any question? No? No question? All right. So, all right. All right. Why we are double checking this? Because if I, uh, if I, uh, if I'm giving you only grammar points, you will get, you will understand everything, right? But you need to practice. You need to practice. Okay. So I want you to, you guys, Talk. Remember that that we have our tongue kind of kind of like a twister, right? Está así como torcida, está así toda 
como así, bien, bien pegadita. Tenemos que soltar la lengüita, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's go. All right, we have this grammar focus. All right, again, we have should and shouldn't. All right, so we have this pronunciation, right? Can and shouldn't. All right, so, and let's see, we have this conversation here. But first, I just want to make sure that we do understand what a can means and what a shouldn't means, all right? So it's the opposite, right? The opposite of should and the opposite of can, all right? So now let me just stop the recurring here and let me share some information <coughs> real quick, okay? It's some other things over here, okay? So let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. All right, so these ones are, you know, short exercises or definitions or information related to the information that we are reviewing together. All right. I sent you this information tonight. Do you guys receive this information? Yes. Yes. yes teacher. Teacher. Very good. Very good. My class right on. Let's see. Okay. Let's repeat. Should or shouldn't. Should or shouldn't. All right. So, okay. Very good. Okay, let's see. Let's repeat over here. Should something that is good or positive idea. Children should, should eat fruit every day. Repeat. Children should eat fruit every day. Children should eat fruit every day. Si no entendemos todavía qué es lo que es should o el moral verb should, aquí está. Mira, está un poco más detallado exclusivamente para usted. Algo que es bueno o, posit o, o una idea positiva, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, si no han comido, por decir así, ¿verdad? No han comido por A o B motivo, acaban de llegar de trabajo, ven, vengo, viene mi persona y como estoy preocupado por ustedes, ¿verdad? Yo le digo, guys, you should eat before you start classes because it's not good, all right? It's almost already nine o'clock and you might, you might get or you might have, you know, uh, a stomach headache, all right? So, but you should eat something. Or if you feel thirsty, all right, because you are talking to me a lot, I will say like this, guys, you should take a glass of water, okay? Una idea o algo positivo quiere decir should, all right? Let's repeat, let's repeat one more time. Children should eat fruit every day. Children, 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 Mucho. All right, so, pero qué, qué ricas son las hamburguesas, para después de que nos pagan cada, cada 15 días, usted dice, me voy a comer una, una, una hamburguesa doble, dice, ¿verdad? Y ni cuenta, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Que se está comiendo un junk food, ¿verdad? Entonces, what mm -hmm. it says, beloved, it says children shouldn't eat junk food every day. Let's repeat, children shouldn't so where we are going to use uh shul uh maria del carmen uh, excuse me repeat please. where where we are going to use the modal verb uh shul where lo voy a poner ahí Ahí está la respuesta. Where we are going to use should. It's a good or positive idea. idea. All right. Idea. Yeah. On something that is good or positive idea. What about shouldn't? Uh, Abimael, where shouldn't. we are going to use shouldn't? Uh, something shouldn't. Uh, that is a bad or negative idea. All right. So ya lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Ya lo tenemos ahí. Iris, dígame. Go ahead. Eh, en español. Es que vaya, por ejemplo, should para lo positivo, should en negativo, pero eso no depende de cómo vea cada quien algo. En ese caso, o solo de manera general, donde to todos sabemos que comer hamburguesas todos los días es negativo. Exacto. Pero a lo, mejor, a lo mejor alguien piensa que comer frutas todos los días no sea 
positivo en ese caso. Mm, por, lo, por lo general es para las, como dice la, la, defini la definición, ¿va? es para algo malo o una idea negativa solamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque yo le puedo decir, yo le puedo decir, este, Iris, you shouldn't watch TV every day. You shouldn't. No vea mucha televisión because it's bad for your eyes, right? Y usted me va a decir, so do I, ¿verdad? Y usted, o sea, usted también, ¿verdad? You shouldn't watch too much TV, Mr. Escamilla, right? Because you are wearing, you know, glasses and you know, oh. it, would be bad, it would be bad for your eyes. Pero es por algo negativo. Obviamente que usted lo puede decir, como le digo, uh, don't eat junk food, Mirna. Don't eat junk food. No comas comida, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Junk food, I'm sorry, uh, chatarra. chatarra. Ajá, no comas comida chatarra. Don't eat, all right? Pero el debería, acuérdense que es, o sea, el debería y el no debería es como más mandatorio. Una recomendación. Como, como, como más, consejo. como un ah, consejo, ¿verdad? Que consejo. le diga, you shouldn't o you should. Si usted me mira bien gordito, ¿verdad? Me mira ahí mi belly, que ya estoy, estoy bien así, bien, bien fornidito, y usted me dice, ustedes me todo, todo, ¿verdad? Me dicen, Mr. Escamilla, you should go to the gym. Mr. Escamilla, you should go and, you know, try to jog in, you know, every morning because, you know, you're getting fat. I mean, you're getting, you know, you're getting bigger. I mean, Bigger because me estoy comiendo todos los días una hamburguesa, me estoy haciendo bien, bien shabby, ¿verdad? Bien gordito. Entonces, mm -hmm. you should go to the gym. You should go. Deberías de ir. All right. Very good. Excellent. Very excellent observation, uh, Iris. Okay. These ones are some uh, examples, all right, that I want you to guys complete. Espero que hayan practicado y que estén practicando en la PPT or PPT that I gave you last night. All right. So... And this one is another one, right? That you guys are going to be answering, you know, at the same time. Number one, number two, number three, all right? So this is Mark. He has a stomach headache, all right? He shouldn't. 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 All right, so repeat the, the whole thing, uh, Susie. He shouldn't eat candies today. Excellent. What about you? Uh, let's see, the other lady, uh, Maria. Maria de Carmen. What about you? Tell me. Read that for me, please. The number one. He shouldn't eat candies today. All right. So in the meantime, guys, let me give you another um, no message. All right. So it's like, uh, creo que le di eso en la primera clase. Quiero darles esta como observación. El sistema le reconoce que usted está en clases con la cámara abierta solamente. Si usted está con la cámara cerrada por A o B motivo, Acuérdese que tiene que notificárselo a su coordinador y a mi persona. Si usted tiene la cámara apagada, acuérdese de que el sistema le va, le va, no le va a marcar la, la hora completa. Le va a marcar un porcentaje. Solo le digo para que esté al tanto, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see. A uh, mi estimado, quiero ver. Uh, let's see. Isaac, Adonai, Tobar, are you there? Number two. ¿Sí? O sea, están, pero no están ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, ok, let's see. Jenny, Marisol. All right, go ahead. Number two. Ok, let's see. Elizabeth. No, Jenny. Esta no tengo, tiene el internet mal, ok. Let's see, ya, me, ya me había dicho. Dígame, Jenny, ya me había dicho que tiene mal internet, ¿verdad? No worries. No worries. Ok, what about, uh, let's see, number two. Uh, let's see, Patricia Alfaro, number two. Go ahead, read that for me. Teacher, perdón, había levantado al baño. Okay, no problem. Usted me Is All right. to take medicine. He should. He to. should take. He should take, take medicine, medicine, right? All right. He should take medicine. Number three. Can we get a number number three? Come on, let's go. He should visit the. He should visit the doctor. He should visit the doctor, right? Very good, very good, very good. You see, easy money, easy quiz here, all right? So, no hay donde perderse. No hay donde perderse. Usted, fácilmente. Pero le sugiero, se lo pido de por favor, I beg you, I beg you, please, 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 use all the information that I'm being giving you so far. 
porque si, si no de una, de, otra, de una u otra manera, si usted solo tiene la información en su hard disk, que es su cabecita, usted no va a exteriorizar todas esas palabras. Y yo quiero que usted empiece a hablar de la manera que es. All right, very good. Next, next one. All right, let's see. Jose, tell me the, the first one. This, this is Maggie. She has a broken leg. Okay, so tell me the, the number one. She... She, she can rest at home, or she uh, should rest at home. She should rest at home, right? Because she she, she broke she. I mean, she broke his leg. I mean, his leg. All right. So ella debe, debe, debería. She should. Ella debería okay. descansar en su casa o en la yes. casa, verdad? Very good. Okay. Number two. Let's see. Ah, uh, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Roxana Yasmin, please. Number two. All right, all right. So remember that we are um, evaluating participation too, guys. Remember, you need to participate in order to learn to speak English. Come on, let's go. All right, let's see. Uh, Rosa Pleites, go ahead. Number two. Um, go ahead. Go, he, go ahead she shouldn't jump in the park. She, she shouldn't jump in the, in in the, the park. park. Okay, she shouldn't jump in the, in park, the park, right? So, no debería saltar en el parque. Sí, solo quería, solo, solo quería aclarar que se ha apagado la cámara porque estoy un poco mal de salud. Okay, no se preocupe. Mándele esa información a mi, a su a coordinadora, please. Así, uh, privado. Pero más sin embargo, siento que estoy participando. No, it's okay, it's okay. Yo le digo por lo que le expliqué anteriormente, que a veces el sistema, no a veces, eso fue lo que me dijeron a mí que el sistema reconoce el tiempo de estadía sí, de cada estudiante sí. por tener su cámara encendida. All right? so, entonces, si tiene ese problemita, usted le dice a su coordinadora y ella va a tomar cartas en el asunto. Si no le dice, pues miremos los resultados más adelante. ¿ok? Sí, no, pero pues, lo que no tenemos, no tenemos cámara en la, en la CPU, ¿cómo hacemos? ¿Le adaptamos? No, no. En ese caso, por como le digo, comuníquese con... A mí me gustaría decirle... Este, téngalo así, ¿verdad? Pero comuníquese con la coordinadora, ¿verdad? Para que ella mire qué puede hacer con usted, ¿verdad? Ya que yo solo paso el mensaje para que usted pueda este, tener la... Pues sí, estar en la, en la clase, toda la, la clase como se requiere. All right, number three. Uh, let's see. Vamos a ver quién me quiere decir number three. Number three, please. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. She, she shouldn't, shouldn't play, soccer. play soccer. She shouldn't play soccer, right? So, okay, Maggie, you know, she looks kind of older, right? But she shouldn't play soccer because ya está un poco veterana y pues se puso a jugar pelota y le pasó lo que le pasó, all right? So, next exercise, all right? So, these are Alex and Wanda. It's raining outside today. Diego, number one. They shouldn't play outside today. Very good, excellent. Number two, let's see, uh, Herminio, number two. They, they shouldn't drink something hot. Mm, shouldn't or should? Should. Should. Should, right? Should, because it's yes. raining and it's kind of chilly. I mean, like, acuérdense que cuando está lloviendo, solo van a tomarse su, su chocolatito, su cafecito, tener un par de pupusitas y estar comiendo en lo rico, ¿verdad? Porque está lloviendo y, se, y está fresquito. No en El Salvador, porque aunque llueva siempre hace calor. All right, so very good. All right, let's see. Vamos a ver. Este... All right, so mala, mala propaganda ¿verdad? para mi país. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver. Number three. ¿Quién quiere decirme number three? Come on, let's go. Joao, go ahead. They should wear a raincoat if, if they go out. They shouldn't or they should? They should. They should wear a raincoat, a raincoat if they go out. Very good. Excellent. All right. So next. All right. This is Serena. She has a homework. She has a, ho I mean, she has homework. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Vamos a ver. De la cámara apagada. Vamos a ver. Uh, let's see. Isaac no me contestó. Jenny uh, tiene problemas. Uh, let's see. Vamos a ver. Uh, Roxana Yasmin, are you there? All right. Uh, Rosa Pleites sí. tiene problemas. Patricia también. No, yo, no oh. yo solo por la cámara. Ok, go ahead. Uh, tell me, number one. You? 
Yes, number one. This is Serena. She has homework. Okay, so tell me, answer a question number one. I mean, complete the sentence. I'm sorry. She shouldn't play with her smartphone now. She shouldn't play with her smartphone now, right? Because, por qué? Why? Anybody can tell me why she shouldn't play with her smartphone now? Why? Because, because she has homework. Because she's studying, right? She's doing something, you know, that is going to disconcentrate her, right? So very good. Okay, number two, Iris, number two, please be my guest. She should hurry up and finish. All right, she should hurry up and finish. Repeat everybody. She she should hurry up and finish. She should hurry up and finish. She should hurry up and finish. Let's repeat, hurry up. Hurry up. Amalia, number three, please go ahead. She should ask for help. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, she should ask for help. Why? Because. Because for a uh, homework. Aquí está la, is, aquí está la respuesta. Miren, because. Oh, I'm so tired from all this homework. Okay. I'm so tired from all this homework. Very good. Excellent. I'm so tired from all this homework. All right. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Give me one second. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Let's see. Give me one second, please. Okay, let's see. Just a moment. All right. So, okay. So, let me pass this. All right. Let's see. Abimael Octavio Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Oleida Reli Garcia Martinez. Alida Reli, very good, excellent. Amalia Beatriz Toward de Perez. Here. Thank you. Diego Francisco Aguilera Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, sir. Elizabeth Enriquera Rivera de Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Armando Garcia Florentino. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Present. All right, Iris Benisa Quillar Petris. Here. Thank you, Miss. Isaac Adonai Tawar. Isaac Adonai Tawar. All right, Jessica Alexandra Melendez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Joao Mauricio Bialta Sorto. Here, sir. Thank you, sir. Jose Arminio Ramirez Umaña. Present. Thank you. Jose Jose Heriberto Duran Prado. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Juana de Juana Ines uh, Ines uh, Velas, Velasquez uh, Carranza. Present. Thank you, Laura Virginia Castillo Quintanilla. Present, teacher. Linda Hazel Fernand Diaz. Linda Hazel Fernand Diaz. Maria Present. del Carmen. Thank you, Maria del Carmen Guzman Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miriam Darlene Escobar Serrano. Present. Miriam Maricela Escobar Serran. Present. Thank you, Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present. Thank you, Orquidia Esmeralda Escobar Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernandez. Patricia del Carmen Al Alfaro de Hernandez. I'm here. Thank you, Rosa Esperanza Plites Martinez. Present, Rosa. teacher. Thank you, Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Present. Thank you, Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano. Present. Thank you, Sonia Egriselda Pinti de Mengibar. Sonia Egriselda Pinti de Mengibar. Okay, excellent. Susana Margarita Jaime Mejia. Present. Thank you, Ms. Thomas Antonio Gonzalez Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Jenny Marisol Present Hernandez de Guevara. Present teacher. Teacher. Thank you, you miss. Thank you. Got you. Present teacher. You. Excellent. Excellent. Give me one second. Let's see. Let's see. All right. One second. One second. Disculpe. Me... Dígame. <laughs> Es que tengo mala señal y por eso no he encendido la cámara y por momentos los escucho bien cortados. 
Oh, okay, no worries, no worries. I got you, okay? Just a moment. Gracias. You're welcome. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Give me one second. All right. This one is already. Let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. Let's see. All right. Are you able to see what I'm checking? Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. Thank you. All right. Lesson 110. Creo que habíamos hasta ayer. All right. So, model verbs and Ken and Sheila, right? So, let me play this now. You have already listened to a conversation where Ken and Shul were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Excellent. All right, guys, uh, let me send you to the breakout rooms real quick. I want you to you guys um, share or ask or mention two sentences where you mention should or shouldn't to your partner, okay? Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Very good, very good. Give me one second. Yes. All right, very good. Let me send you right now. All right, enjoy, uh, enjoy please. So that's... Come on, join, 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 join. Join Jenny, please. Uh, Jose Mauricio, join. Uh, move to the fire. And one, uh, two, and three. All right, join, 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 please. Oye, Mael. ¿Qué ha pasado? No, no le ha caído. Vamos a ver. No mandar el 6. Join, please. Join, 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 join. All right, I want to hear you guys. I want to hear you. share a question with Amalia and Elizabeth, okay? Should I should I stay here? Should I mention something? Should I talk English with you? So talk like that, all right? So 
All right, so I see you there. They have the breaker room, all right. All right, let's wait for the rest of the class, guys. Okay, I know that is, you know, it's not longer the time that I'm giving you. All right, it's just like a, a minute and a half or something less than that, all right? So, and sometimes the breakout rooms is not giving you the options to, to talk. But the idea here is that you guys need to practice, right? So if I ask, let's see, uh, Susie, tell me a sentence where you apply should or shouldn't. Please, go ahead. You should pay attention during the class and you shouldn't forget to do the homework. Huh? What else? Uh, let's see. Uh, Amalia, tell me a sentence where you apply should should it. Thank you, Susie. I, I sure. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, send this couple. I should in. Sorry, teacher, send this couple. No Remember, no, don't, don't worry, no worries. I mean, relax, relax, relax. Nadie le va a hacer nada. De, relájese. Ok, le voy a preguntar a otro y agarre la idea, ¿verdad? Vamos a, le voy a robar dos minutos de su tiempo, ¿ok? Tres minutos. Sí, es que me... Ok. All right, let's see. Uh, Diego, tell me two different sentences with should or shouldn't, please. Go ahead. I should go to my work tomorrow and I should, I shouldn't sleep in the work. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, Sonny, uh, Sonia Pinti, please. Tell me uh, sent two sentences, should or shouldn't, please. Go ahead. I should drink more water every day and I shouldn't drink soda every day. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's see. What is the rest? Okay, so todos se me fueron, que se me hicieron los demás, ya, ya, ya salieron. Habíamos, habíamos 30 y ya solo hay 24. Okay. Iris, please tell me two different sentences with should or shouldn't. Um, you should go to the iPhone and they shouldn't eat pupusas. Thank you very much. Uh, Jose Heriberto, tell me a sentence, two sentences, should or shouldn't. Okay. I should play soccer now. I should never dinner after class. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Gabriel, please, two sentences. Uh, you should to go to Conchagua and you shouldn't drink much coffee. All right, excellent, excellent. Let's see. Uh, let's see, Mar Miriam, Mar Miriam, Darlene, tell me uh, two different sentences. Come on, let's go. Uh, they shouldn't have so many pets. So okay. children shouldn't spend so much time in front of TV. Excellent. Maria del Carmen, tell me two different sentences. You shouldn't eat candies mm -hmm. and you should walk, walk in the morning. All right, Salvador. Two sentences. Tell me two sentences, please. Should and shouldn't. I should drink more water. And I shouldn't go to sleep later. Excellent. Hey. Anybody? Very good. Very good. Anybody else want to participate? Yeah. Sorry, teacher. I should go to the de dentist again next week. And you should visit me next weekend. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Anybody else? I should play baseball two times a week. And I shouldn't lost English class. Excellent, excellent. Anybody else? Thomas? Juana? Ya lo hicimos con el compañero. Okay, okay. All right, so. I shouldn't eat vegetables. I shouldn't eat pizza. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. Now I believe every, everything is clear, right? We should and shouldn't. All right. We didn't we, we didn't check uh, can and can't, but we're going to check it tomorrow. All right. No worries. It's pretty easy, but I want you to you guys understand 
in a better way these uh, definitions and when and how you are going to use this model verbs, okay? Any questions before you go to bed, before you go home? I know you are home, you are in home. I mean, you are in este su casa. Dígame, Gabriel. Eh, mi pregunta más enfocada, eh, ¿cuándo usar el must? Porque el must creo que tiene algo similar al should. El must lo vamos a ver en el tema, en la clase requerida. No se preocupe, pero ese es así como, es como de usted debería. Usted así como que yo le diga, you must. No se vaya a sentir mal por la pregunta, que, la, la, sure. la respuesta y pregunta que le voy a dar al mismo tiempo. O, o pregunta y respuesta. Ok. Gabriel. You must ask me the questions before we we finish our classes. ¿Sí me entiende? Usted yes. tendría, usted tenía que haberme preguntado antes que terminara la clase, Gabriel. You must. O si no le puedo decir, you must go to the doctor porque usted está con una gran tos, una gran tos y, y no puede ni hablar. Y yo le digo, you must go to the doctor, Gabriel. You will die. You're going to die. Come on, let's go. I mean, go to the doctor. You must go to the doctor now. Usted debería ir al doctor ahorita porque se me va, se me va a pasar a mejor vida. Sí, pero eso lo vamos sí. a ver en la clase indicada. Okay, no se preocupe. Any other question, guy, questions, guys? Are we clear? Oh, Iris, tell me. Eh, sí, eh, solo como una observación o no sé, algo que me fijé yo en el video que nos puso. Ella explicaba que por más que se escupe para chi, hi, o algo así, que anteriormente sabemos que eso se le agrega una S o el verbo se cambia para eso o algo, si usa el should o el shouldn't queda intacto, o sea, queda como que estoy hablando de I, you o, o, o de, de eso, sujeto. I mean, por ejemplo, yo le digo, si hablamos, le entiendo, si hablamos de let's see, de quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver que si es esta niña, oh, hablamos de Susy yo le digo a uh, Iris o sea, no le voy a decir she pero estamos hablando de Susy ¿verdad? pero le voy a decir she should pay attention in classes because she is kind of lost ella debería poner atención en clases porque está un poco perdidita she should pay, I mean, she should pay attention in classes o she shouldn't be eating She shouldn't be eating candies because I'm talking and she's eating, you know, en una manera inapropiada. She's eating, you know, like with manners. I mean, she's eating like this. ¿verdad? She shouldn't eat like that way. He shouldn't be there. Yo le digo, Iris, he, he shouldn't be there. Él no debería estar ahí. You know, sí se puede utilizar, pero en diferente contexto. Ok, mañana le vamos a dar un énfasis más. Eh, concreto a su pregunta, está bien interesante esa pregunta. Ajá, que no se le debe agregar nada al verbo, es lo exacto, que yo no, exacto. Pero, ajá, que quede intacto. Ajá. There we go, there we go, my class. Very good, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I see you tomorrow. Have a have a good night and rest. I mean, yeah, try to rest. Good night. Very good, okay? So, good thank tomorrow. you. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care.